Hello everyone and welcome back to Station Ears. In the last episode we managed to start writing the voter automation code. We got as far as automating this digital valve. And that digital valve basically is the volume pumps. Maybe I should reflect that in the code. So instead of digital valve we have a... Hmm, let's just go for volume pump. Okay, so device 2. We need to replace these. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I think that's it. For this, make sure we actually save this code. So we are going to need an IC chip. IC chip. There we go, we have everything, perfect. Let me bring up the laptop so we can keep an eye on the, the crafting of that chip. Also, we are going to need another one for the actual water generators. 66%. You know what, I will wait for this one to finish. Okay, and now we only need one more. So, you go in here and we export the code, that's it. So this is the actual valve. Now we need to write the actual water generation code. And for that we are going to need alias... As I said, I would like to have a dedicated switch that will control all the water generation devices. Let's just call it power switch on device zero then I'm going to check yeah I will need to check the outside analyzer on device one and the else basically I just need to know that uh, <coughs> if the out outside uh, water pipe has any water in it if it's empty let's just make some water and also I do not want to make too much water on the outside before it because if I fill that up to maybe 10 megapascals then it's going to have so much water inside that we are never going to cool it down it's going to have so much specific uh, heat capacity so I think I will only go for 500 kilopascals or even less. Mm -hmm. So we don't need, need to make too much water on the outside. So I think that is all we need. So let's see. Also, let's make sure we can actually control the power switch. Okay, you can turn off. So let's see. We need a power controller chip I think power control okay this one doesn't say what about the console console maybe an open setting or the setting itself mm hmm I will have to experiment with that one. Anyways, I will just need to rewrite a couple extra variables, but that's it. So we can start the code. First things first, we need to know the pressure of the outside water pipes. So load into R0 from the outside analyzer the pressure variable branch less than if, it, if it's less than let's say 500 kilopascals oh yeah r0 is less than so if r0 is less than 500 mega kilopascals then we can jump on to step 2 and in step 2 you know what 
We only really need to check the pressure, I think. So we don't need a step two. Just jump to the turn on portion of the code. If it is more than 500 kilopascals, then jump to the turn off section of the code. And that is it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Next, uh, let's see. The turn on portion of the code will set the let's see this one the power switch is not the on because that will only turn on the console itself on and off so it's either the open or the setting let's go for setting for now setting to one then jump to the start and this is the, going to be the same exact thing on a turn off except in the reverse turn off setting to zero and jump to the start that's it let's make sure these are okay yes that's it in fact i think we can export this this is a much smaller code so we will know that the big one is for the uh, valve volume pump the small one is for the actual water generators there we go you can go back in my pocket let's see first things first we are going to need a console yeah we have everything and then we are going to need a power control chip yes anything else you guys go in here i will put away the frame and the iron sheets what else do we need uh, we have the analyzer yes i think that's it we just need a single piece of glass so there we go split one and the rest can go back in here yes we can also put away the pipes you know what i think i will make a configurator a cartridge for the what's it called the tablet so configuration this should tell us what kind of variable we need to change, uh, switch so this one let's see let's open this let's switch out this cartridge we thankfully we already have one power this one power switch so yeah setting and it's not one and zero it's two and six so if it's on, it's on 6, if it's off, then it is on 2. Okay, good to know. Uh, you know, good thing we checked. So let's open this one, let's put in this chip, edit. So again, let's double check. So now it's off, which means it is on setting 2. So if you want to switch it off, we need to set this to 2 and this to 6, apparently. Okay, export. Okay, you can close now. There we go. Go back in my pocket. And I think I will set, uh, replace this cartridge now. Yeah, we can keep this, conf you know what, now. I will put this configuration back in here because it's going to be used very rarely. This one can go back in my pocket. Oh yeah, we are going to need quite a bit of cabling as well. Cables, there we go. I think it's getting dark now. Uh-huh, yeah. I can see the accretion disk. 
right there. Mm, yeah, 14 will be more than enough. So yeah, we can switch it off. Do I have any room for them inside? I don't think so. Do you have to do everything from outside? Okay. There we go. Out here we have plenty of room. Uh, I think this is pretty okay for the chip placements. Oh yeah, we need housing as well. Oh, silly me. Okay, we need two IC housings. Uh, electronic printer, we need IC housings. Where is it? That's it, IC housing. We are running a little bit low on solder. Let's keep that in mind. Anything else? Looks okay. Maybe a little bit of iron and gold. Everything else. Ah, Constantin is okay. I think we made 50 in the first batch and we still have 38, so it's okay. No, we just need one more. Okay. Yeah, we could go for a bit of iron and gold later. Anything else? This one is empty. This one is empty. That's fine. So. You to come with me as soon as this one is also finished. So we have 14 kilopascals inside, so it's slowly increasing. I think the problem is that we have so many plants now that they are eating the CO2 faster than we are. We can actually take it in. Oh well. Yeah. The airlock is here, not upstairs. Uh, let me switch out the battery before it starts complaining. And we can go and start placing stuff. So, let's see. I think I will have the console. I think we have some pipes here, right? Yeah. Can I place this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think here will be okay. So we need a no. Where is the? Oh, I accidentally put the power chip in the cupboard, not the configurator. Okay. Be careful where we are flying. Sorry guys, I know, accidents were made, I know, so this is the power control, there we go, now we have everything we need, at least hopefully. Okay. And there we go. So the power control chip goes in here with a piece of glass on top. There we go. Then we need to wire everything up with the cable cutters like so. And there we go. Now we need... Oh yeah, we need to switch everything on. Mm -hmm. So I think I will switch off all these. They will be controlled by chips later, so that's fine. But I don't want to make water right now. But I still need to switch on. Also... Mm, now this can be a problem. I think we need to add the gas mixer as well. But that's fine. We can just 
add the gas mixer to this one as well, so it's fine. Uh, this one... Yes, this one has to be turned off as well. And that's it. Okay, so now we are safe to turn on the whole system. So this one can be flipped on. And we are not making any water right now. Yep. In fact, we can bring in this water. And that's fine, that doesn't matter. Also, we are losing quite a bit of power, I think, because of the fridge. Let me switch this one off. We don't need this working right now. No, we are still losing quite a bit of power. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, I think because of we are cooling the, the base. We are taking in so much uh, hot CO2. So of course the AC is now working harder. Anyways... Yes, so we can start configuring this one. So, let's see. We are going to need... Let's start from the top. Not this one. No. Uh, let's see... Back pressure regulator waste filtration the H2 combustor the gas mixer H2 filtration absolutely pressure filtration and that's it let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six is all we need to control. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I think we need to set this to linked. So if I swift flip the switch, everything should turn on. Yep. And let's make sure we are still dealing with the proper settings. Of course, I have the configuration chip inside. Okay, I will leave this as is. Let me just let me just place the two IC housings. Uh, yeah, I think it's best if I place them here. See? Here and here. If this one doesn't work, then I know we just need the configuration chip and we can check what kind of settings we need. There we go. Yes. Yes. And... Almost. There we go. So let's start with the pressure valve. So you go inside. Let's initialize the chip for a second, so we can see what we need to set on these devices. So, outside analyzer. Uh, there we go. We need... Where is it? Oh wait, they are on the inside network okay okay let me just set everything else so the outside analyzer is no inside analyzer no volume pump i think that one is also controlled by the inside network mm -hmm. So I think this one can actually be on the inside. Yeah. We can move this inside, that's fine. Uh, let me pick it up. In fact, I will pick this one up instead. So we can put this one in here. I think this one 
Oh, we still need the the outside gas sensor and the pipe analyzer, I mean. Can I include a piece of pipe just for that? Yeah, I think we can do it. But first, let me tidy up the cables. No. Preferably with this one here. Okay, so curve and curve. And we can put this one away as well. So now we need... You know what, let's settle everything else. So we need the... Yeah, initialize this one again. And there we go. So power switch will be... Let me name it. So this is the water generator switch. Right, water generator switch. Fine. So we need the water generator switch, yes. And then the outside analyzer, which we are going to place a secondary one in out here. Okay, so I think we can actually split this pipe off, turn it that way and place one more analyzer. Mm -hmm. That is enough. No, wait, we need it on this one. So I will split it off here. So we need at least one, two, at least three insulated water pipes. Do we have any more? No, of course not. Let's see, we need insulated liquid pipes. We need steel, which is in here. Uh, steel right here. Give me three of these. And then we are going to need... In, uh, like, no, we need it here. You know what, just in case I will make four. Okay, and then we are going to need a analyzer, liquid pipe analyzer, iron, gold, electron, gold, electron and iron. Only one, of course. There we go, analyzer, thank you. Also, you can turn off too. And there we go. So. I forgot the configuration chip, of course, but uh, that's fine. So, we are going to split off right here. Let's see. Maybe I can put it there. We have nothing over there, so... We can actually... Take out the wrench. And have this one go like this. And then one more. So, there. And we can put the analyzer on this one. Yeah, sure. So we actually have two extra pipes, not just one. Okay, so... Uh, how can I wire this up? Mm -hmm. Has to go up and... Yeah, it has to go up and then I will bring it out this way. So you go here. And I, I am pretty sure we don't have enough cables. But just in case, I will start placing them. There we go. Again, at this point, I really should be color coding my networks. Let's see. Yeah, we are lacking exactly one piece of cable. There we go. 
maybe I should have put a different color on the weather station cables because blue would make more sense for the water generator. Oh well. One thing at a time. So let's take out the configuration tool. Then we need copper. And give me some cables, please. Mm, you know what? Let's do it right now. There we go. Blue. Let's pick this up. Blue cable. There we go. So you are going to go this way. Yes, I know I'm still making cables, don't worry. Now this should be more than enough and uh oh, it looks like we have a storm incoming. So in the corner of my eye. How long do we have? Okay, over around 12 minutes. So uh, we have some time. Also the inside pressure was 16 mega uh, kilopascals, so it is actually going up, which is always nice to see. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me switch out these also. We can turn off the filter. So, let's switch out these cables. No. Let's trim this one back and we can turn these all blue. There we go, and... Oh, wait, we don't need to pick everything up. There we go, very nice. We can just do this. I don't think I will do everything right now, but I will do some of it. You know what, I will just do the places where I can just do quick straight pieces. I will deal with the corners later. So anyways, we are getting close. Okay, I will stop now. Uh, let's see. So we have the pipe analyzer. It is actually working, right? Yes. Uh, let's name it correctly. So you are the outside pipe analyzer let's set you up so we need outside pipe analyzer yes no wait this was a outside pipe analyzer sorry outside pipe analyzer and this one is the power switch which is the water generator switch now let's see let's check the configuration configurator if it's off it's on two if it's on it's on six okay so it's the same which means we can turn this on uh, right now, we have uh, 12 kilopascals of pressure in the outside water pipe. If I turn this on, everything should turn on. No, for some reason it doesn't. Let's deal with the oxygen. There we go. So what's your problem? Line 9. Let's see what's on line 9. Set power switch setting six. Huh. Is it a setting? Yeah, setting. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's pick it up. Let's reset this. No, it's still complaining about that one. 
maybe it actually is one and zero and for some reason it uh, multiplies by three on this uh, uh, readout let's give it a try so we need to turn this off let's put this in let's edit the code so if you turn on let's set it to one turn off let's set it to zero export now no it's still line nine turn off please so set the power switch setting you know what let's set it to six and two okay maybe it got confused because of the because it has two codes and okay, let's turn let's get some oxygen there we go so let's reset this completely then move this on here let's set devices so the first one is the power switch which is the water generator switch right water generator switch yes and the second one is the outside pipe analyzer switch on still problem on level uh, line nine mm -hmm. again i accidentally take out the battery now let's see set power setting six hmm let me quickly research on uh, let's see yeah I will go make a quick uh, research on the web I, I will be back with you in a minute Okay, I have absolutely no idea how to do this one because I think, let's see, uh, configuration, let's put this in. I think the green numbers mean they cannot be changed. So the setting is only controlled by this one. We cannot change it by logic. We can only change this switch and whether or not it's open, but I don't know. That doesn't do anything, I think. So we are going to need to find some other way to control all these devices. The thing is, we have six devices and we need seven because we need to read this one as well. Or maybe, technically, we don't really need this one. Let's see, how much pressure does it build up? So, Atmos Analyzer. <coughs> yeah, I think we can actually go without this uh, pressure regulator. We just need the H2 filter, the waste filter, the combustor. And the mixer. Let's see. This one is yeah, it's stuck around 40 kilopascals, so it's basically nothing inside. Okay, I will take everything inside and rewrite the code a little bit. So let's see. Also the storm is still coming to keep that in mind. So, put this down, open, put in the chip, and let's see. Okay, so instead of, of power switch, we are going to just set all the devices individually. Alias, we need the mixer, which is going to be device zero. Let's set this to device five. Then we are going to need the H2 
intake device one then we are going to need the combustor on device two then we are going to need the waste filter on device three then we are going to need the pressure filter on device 4. Okay, so we don't really need that volume pump to be switched off basically anytime. Mm -hmm. Sure. So when we are turning on, we just need to set all these guys to be on and we turn off, then we need to set them to off. So we need the mixer on to be one. Let me copy this one five times. And let me just replace these. Also, let's do this instead. Yes. And then the pressure filter. And that should be it. Now we just need to do the same on the other side in the turn off portion of the code. But instead of one, they are going to have zero at the end. So far so good. So instead of one, you are going to have zero. Okay, anything else? I think that should do it. Confirm, export, how long? Five minutes, I think we have enough time to do this. Just fine. And then we can do the rest from the inside. Oh, okay, there we go. So, plop down, input this. Also filter off, please. Uh, let's see, we need this one. Initialize the code, thank you. So, let's see, mixer is going to be the gas mixer, yes. The H2 intake is the... where is it? H2 filtration, I think. Yes. The combustor is, of course, the H2 combustor. The waste filter is this one, waste filtration. Uh, let's see, waste, waste filtration, pressure filter is pressure filtration, yes, pressure filtration, perfect, and then we need the, where is it, I think I didn't name it, yeah, liquid pipe analyzer. I need to need it to reload a little bit, so this one is now named incorrectly. Let me just quickly fix that. So you are the outside pipe analyzer. Okay. Now that should take care of it. I think we can pick this one up, might as well. We can re recycle this one somewhere else. Okay, wait. Let's turn these guys off. Okay, we can pick up the chip. There we go, and then we can reclaim the console itself. Mm -hmm. And then we can turn this back into a regular corner pipe, uh, corner cable. Okay, so if I turn this on, these guys should turn on because we don't have enough pressure in here. Yes. Okay, yeah, they are on, they are building pressure, and as soon as it reaches 500 kilopascals, they should turn off. Okay, this would take a long time. I can monitor this from the inside. Also, you need to be on all the time, please. So, how's the pressure now? Yeah, it's still around 47 kilopascals, so it's okay. 
Okay, so let's put everything away. Yes. Turn the filter on now. And let's go back inside. That's it. And let's keep an eye on the outside water pressure. Also, you can turn off and go back in my jumpsuit. Okay, it's still building. Maybe I should set this a little bit lower. Now 500 kilopascals should be okay. Let me quickly recycle my waste. There we go. Okay, now. The water intake. I think that one should still work just fine. We have everything inside. Mm-hmm. I think we can place it on here. Everything is on the main network. At least I think so. Let's double check the code. Open, put inside, import the code. So the these two are on the main network. This one as well. Inside gas sensor. Yeah, we need to move this one. So you come with me. Also, this one should be blue. Anyways. Let me just quickly... Yes. Might as well switch out these cables to blue. At least some of it. Okay. Let's not get distracted. So we need to place the gas sensor... You know what? Okay, lag like spike. That's it. Okay. So, it should be best if we place it here, because this one is the monitoring the exact square where we are heating the base. So we can have the sensor right here, and we have the storm. Okay. Uh, this one can go here. Let's wire it up. There we go, let's name it correctly. You are the inside gas sensor. What's next? Yes. That's it. Everything is on the main network, so we can start placing things down. Mm, let's see, where can I put this? Maybe under here somewhere. Yeah, I think here will be okay. So the housing can go thing here. Let's wire it up. Oh, almost. There we go. Yes, and yes. Then we need oh, the chip is in the laptop. So, the chip should be okay. At least, hopefully. If I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, we are still generating water. As long as it, this one doesn't go above 500 kilopascals, we are okay. So, put this inside, initialize it for a second. There we go. And we can start setting the devices. Outside analyzer is the let's see outside pipe analyzer, yes. Inside is the inside pipe analyzer. The volume pump is of course hmm, let's make sure we name it correctly. So you are the water intake volume pump and this is the you know what that one doesn't need to be named because it's on the water network okay so we need the where is it water intake volume pump 
Okay. So, the, the conditions are absolutely not favorable right now. So if I turn this on, the volume pump should be off. Oh, of course we have uh, line 15. What's the problem? Unknown error. So let's see. Line 15. Load to the inside atmospheric temperature from the inside gas sensor, the temperature variable. What's the problem here? Load into a register from the device the temperature. Hmm. Did I not set the Oh, okay. I did not set the device. That might be a problem. So, we need inside gas sensor. And it's okay. So, again, I keep taking out the battery for some reason. Okay, so, you can go back in my pocket. So, this one is off. Because the outside water is too hot, and we are approaching 500 kilopascals. Let's see. It should turn off. Okay. Perfect. And the water outside is cooling down, so the pressure is actually dropping, but it is hovering around 500 kilopascals. Okay, so the water generation is actually working fine. Oh, we need to drink. There we go. Now we just need to make sure that this one is working as well. Which we can actually do by double checking the code. Let me put things away. Uh, yeah, where is the blue cable? Yeah, it's right here. So, you know what? I am fairly confident in, the, in that code. What we can do now is maybe replace some of the cabling with blue ones. I think with, for that we need the cable cutters. Yes. I think it's better if I do this one from the bottom. So you will be... see? Like this. You are going out here, yes, and I think that's it. Okay, we have some visible cables here. We need a corner piece, there we go. This one is going outside, yes. Anything else? Oh yeah, of course. I forgot to repair the solar panels, so some of them will be destroyed. Uh-oh, that's not good. So anyways, these the inside cables should be blue at this point. But we need to wait for the end of the storm to do the rest. In the meantime, we can put some of our stuff, some of our stuff away. We don't need the power controller or the console. You know what, I will leave this piece of glass because they go together. The configuration cartridge I will leave here. I will keep the data disk on myself, I think. We can put the pipe in here. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this point all we can do now is to wait for the end of the storm. Okay, so the outside water generation is perfectly fine. But 
until the end of the storm we cannot really test this one. Uh, anyways, I think we are out of time anyway. So in the next one, we are going to wait for the end of the storm. Maybe go out and mine for the materials we need for the asteroid. Because I would like to make... What do I want to make with it? There was something I wanted to make. Something in here. I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the heavy solar panels. What about the stationary ones? Heavy basics. Oh, we can make those right now. So before we leave, let's do that. Let's steal Electrum Invar. Invar is in here for some reason. I put it inside. Uh, let's see, Invar. I think it was Electrum as well. Yes, I mean I just need steel, which is this one. So we can make can we make three? Yes we can. So we can replace those three basic solar panels with these heavy ones, and these will not be uh, damaged by the storms, I think. Let's see, let's make sure. Heavy. Heavy solar panel basics. That's it. Resistant to storm damage. So I don't know if it's just resistant or immune. I guess we will find out sooner or later. We just need one more. Ah, the storm is over. You know what? I will go outside and replace those. There we go. And let's observe the damage. So I'm not going to repair anything right now. I am going to replace everything with heavy ones. Mm -hmm. So this one is busted. This one, this one, this one is still working. Anyways. Can I... We need angle grinder for this. We can actually recycle some of this stuff. Can I... Yes. Yes. We can also do the deal with this one. No, 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 no. This one goes. Where is it? Okay. Hmm. Can I merge any of them? Hmm, not really. It's fine. So, we can pick this one up. Yes. Oh, I didn't bring enough glass for it. That's fine. We can sell these basic ones. But we, right now we can replace them like this. Wait, they come with glass already? No, they don't. There we go. We can at least start using one of them. No, 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 no. I accidentally used... Andrew. Oh wait, they need something else? Hmm, maybe they need special glass? Let's see. Kit heavy angled. Oh, they need five glass sheets, okay. You know what, might as well go back inside, place it down and then I will end the episode. So we need 14 more glass sheets. Okay, anyways, we can put these in here for recycling later. I don't know how much materials we can reclaim. So we have 11. Yeah, we need to make more glass sheets. I think it is actually silicon. Is it? Let's see. Glass sheets. Yes. Thankfully, it wasn't stellar glass, just regular glass. Okay, this is enough. Uh, there we go. So, we have enough glass. Let me just quickly place these down. And in the next episode we are going to deal with the heavy 
rotatable solar panels. Wait, still not good. Wanting to. It was regular glass sheets, right? Yeah, glass sheets. Oh, welding torch, okay. Pay attention. There we go. So, now we just need to find out if they are resistant or immune to storm damage. Okay, I will leave these guys alone. And you know what? No, I will pick them up to make sure that we can actually sell them. So, we need a crowbar. This will make our power generation quite a bit less, but that's fine. As soon as we have Asteroid, we are going to be just fine. Okay, I will go back inside and end the episode, because we are over time at this point. There we go, and that's it. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye bye.